Welcome back to Silent Hill Downpour. In the last episode, we finally escaped from the hell dimension that seems to be the diner. Or at least, I guess the diner itself was kind of fine, but when we went into the other world in the kitchen, it wasn't so fine. So we just left there. Uh, we didn't really accomplish very much in there at all. Weirdly enough, it was probably needed for something, but our two goals at the moment are to find new clothes to get out of these prison clothes, and to find a ticket to go to Devil's Pit on the, the tram thing. Haven't accomplished either, but those are what we're looking for. And the remaining couple of buildings here, you can see there's like three buildings on the map that we haven't been to. So I'm going to go check those out. By the way, when I loaded up the game, for some reason, it didn't load a save from right here, which is weird because I'm pretty sure there's a checkpoint right here when you get back out. Instead, it was way back before that first fight. I mean, it's only maybe three or four minutes, but very strange. Plus, I mention that because I actually found something inside of that building. The diner? Yeah, it was the diner. I found something in there that I didn't find when I was playing before. I found a key. A key from the, from the motel behind the diner. Don't know what it's for. Doesn't say what it's for. There's something on the tag, but I can't really read it. But, uh, yeah, that's new. I wonder if I... Maybe that's what I needed from here. But if so, then... Man, if I missed it before... I guess I'd have to go through the diner again to find it? That would have sucked. It could also just be a bonus thing, who knows. Anyway, let's explore around. Where's this? Oh, these are the hotel rooms at Devil's Pit Stop. Right, I haven't been to these yet. But remember, we did read that note from, I guess, one of the owners of this place where they were detailing everything that they saw happening in these rooms. They were spying on the tenants. A, B, C, and D is crossed off for some reason. Weird. Is that locked? Okay. Oh. I hate it when it just slams behind me. I also noticed that if I press the B button on the Xbox 360 controller when I don't have a weapon in my hand, Murphy will grab the flashlight and put it in their hand. I don't think there's any purpose to this. Like, this isn't any different than this, I, I think. Hmm. Okay, it allows you to turn a little bit more with the light. At this point, the light just stops turning. But, I mean, I don't think that's too important generally. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it would help. I'll leave it out. I also accidentally threw my wrench, if you're wondering what happened to it. That's going to happen a lot in this playthrough. Ooh. Heck yeah. Oh, the button to grab the flashlight when you have a weapon is actually to drop the weapon. Well, so much for that. Oh, is that bottle of wine a weapon? That is a weird hot spot. Come on. Pick up. There we go. Wow. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with this. Isn't there supposed to be a toilet here? Oh, headkit. I also wonder where the spy holes for these rooms were. Is there a hole in one of these paintings? Something up above spying from the ceiling?
Yeah, I don't want to miss anything like a key again, so... I'm gonna make sure I really thoroughly explore the environment. I think they got rid of the head turn thing, where... the character's head turns towards object, objects you can interact with. I don't think that's a thing here. So I gotta kinda rely more on just kinda getting near stuff and waiting for a prompt to show up. Ooh, is that a shovel? Is that a weapon? Oh, heck yeah. It's got some serious range. Do a strong attack. Oh, there's a lot of weapons around here. A rake. Mm, I'll stick with a shovel. I've just got to guess at how much damage they do, but I bet a shovel probably does a lot. Why are there wires going into this door? Hmm. Hammer's probably good for breaking open locks. Power's out. Wonder where the breaker is. Just follow the cords outside the door, I guess. What? Oh, this is the game! The game that I have the tokens for. If I win this game, it'll give me a ticket to the Devil's Pit thing. that on. Oh, I do not like what I'm seeing in there. Hmm. That was easier than I thought. to be a whole thing, like I needed to find wires to fix it, or some gas. Game tokens. <laughs> Game is jailbreak, how appropriate. Is this just... what is this? I think it's like water at the bottom? Bunch of holes? I don't know, let's just start and see what happens. There's three of those. Oh, I see. I think. I've got to get them in the goals at the top, right? There's three of these things and there's three holes. I've got to get them there without going into those other holes, the non-flashing ones. The difference in the color between the middle one on the top and then the right one is very subtle. I'm not quite sure which is which. But anyway, can I... Yeah, I can move it left and right somehow. <sighs> Maybe straight up might be the thing to do. Oh. Ah. Not very generous with that. You really gotta get up, get to it from the bottom. Okay. Maybe I can still go this way? Maybe. If I go to the left real fast. <clears throat> oh, I didn't quite make it. Okay, let's try again. Maybe. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. I think I might save my stage. Maybe if I mess this one up, it'll just reset me back to this one. Not the whole thing, hopefully. Um, I'm gonna have to go left or right. Right? No. Uh. Well, it depends which one this needs to go to, because I'm not quite sure the color is so subtle, but I think it needs to go to the rightmost one, probably. So, I think the way to go is to the right. Yeah, that should do it. Oh, that wasn't the right one. Okay. In that case, I think I gotta go to the left.
And then this one just the same way I did it before. So I still have the quest to find new clothes, so I, I guess that's optional, maybe? Or maybe I just don't do that in this area. I kind of interpreted that as like an area quest, something I need to do before I do the tram, but that might not be true. Either way, there is still a lot to explore before I leave this place, so... Let's go do it before I head to the tram. I have pretty good reason to suspect that there's a lot of optional stuff in this game because in one of the loading screens there's little hints and stuff that show up and at one point it's something like there's um, you can look around town for optional side quests or something like that looks like the world just ends here we checked out these doors. A couple more of the rooms. Right? Yeah, yeah, we checked out the rooms in A, but we didn't try this. Hold on. Oh, never mind. I was just looking at the fact that there's a room that I didn't try on the left side of A, but that's because I actually never got in there. Yeah, both doors to it are locked. Or just broken, actually. <laughs> Couple more wine bottles. Clothes I can use? Yes! Nice. Huh? What's this? Oh, a long time since I had real clothes. Could I have just gone the rest of the game wearing my prison uniform? I just accidentally used a med kit. Found in the pocket of some discarded clothes, the police badge, and a very old rusty key. Yeah, that thing looks ancient. I'm surprised I've now found two keys that don't give me any clue about what they're for. There's no tag on them or anything. Whoops. Okay, where do I go now? Stairs are blocked. Certainly not going back down. Where do I go from here? Not that the map really shows anything. How do I get out of this little area? I don't have to go back down into the diner, hotel, kitchen place, do I? This just leads over to the generator and stuff. Ah, uh, here's what I missed. This little area over here looks like it's totally impassable, but you can actually go behind the dumpster. Hmm. 
Which key? Probably this one. Okay, so you did need the clothes to continue. I still don't know what the small key that I got in the diner is for, though. Uh oh. Okay, we got enemies. What the hell is that? Uh. Hmm. I don't think I can fight three. I think I probably just need to get on the tram. Right? Are they still coming after me? Actually, are they? Uh, yeah. Hope the key wasn't, the little key wasn't only for here and I'm missing out on using it for something. This must be the ticket machine. Wherever this thing goes, can't be worse than back there, can it? Must be the Devil's Pit. I love how it felt like when we were going up there, or down? I think it was up. Through the fog. Or maybe it was down. Anyway, when you're going through the fog, I like how we couldn't see anything at all around. It's just us. Just in a sea of fog. It's like we could have passed into another world, and maybe we did, and we wouldn't have known it. Oh. Bye. Find a way into town. Why am I sneaking? Wait a second. What's that? That's not a block. What is that? Oh, that's the aim button. That's like, that's a button you press to aim when you're going to throw something. Which I probably can throw this, right? You can throw everything? Yeah. <laughs> Does that do anything when you do that and then just a normal attack? Like, is this aim and then attack? Is that different from just an attack? Doesn't look like it. I think it's exactly the same. Find a way into town. Locked. I think it maybe forces me to sprint when I'm, like, near an edge or something. Or not sprint, sorry, uh, forces me to sneak. Yeah, now it's normal. say? Train conductor. Somebody painting over... Is that, is that an A? A-P? Seder? I-P Seder? Anybody in here? Hello? Come 
won't turn off. No, not that. No, not that. Learn from yesterday, live for today, and hope for tomorrow. Oh, what happened here? Strange little cubby hole. Lighter. Oh, another like permanent item like the flashlight. Hmm. Unfortunately, it makes my performance terrible. Like, wow, really, really bad. Look at that. So why would I want to use it? I'm sure there's things to burn. But light-wise... Hmm, it's actually a pretty damn good area light. I think. I should use it in a darker area to really tell. Yeah, not bad. I think it forces you to, like, do the zoomed-in kind of thing, right? Yeah. So not something we're going to want to keep out all the time. Shovel's long and heavy. This is sharp. Mm. I'm gonna keep this. Oh, this is... Oh, there's a weapon in it. Crowbar. Mmm, probably very good for locks. I'm still gonna keep this, though. It's interesting that you can't keep more than one weapon in your inventory. In fact, it doesn't seem like you can put weapons in your inventory at all. You can only put them in your hands. Oh, I'll just come back around to here. Yeah, this door was locked before. Okay. The difference is, now I can break wood. Can I break this? No. But I can probably break this. That's pretty cool. I like that you can... I, I like that it allows you to find a way into a place, like into a door, uh, other than just a key. Also, what the hell is that noise? the shutter? Like slamming, I guess? Ah, here we go, here we go. Key rack. Just the one, okay. What if I encountered that's locked? Don't remember. Oh, hmm, 
I guess it's not something here. Something back up here? What was that? Oh, it's going to pick up the chair, isn't it? Yeah, let's not pick that up. Oh, I just realized it blink like uh, the item flashes when you have it selected. Like if you're going to pick up an item, it's going to be the one that's flashing. Okay, so there's some indication which one you're aiming at. I'm going to try to break everything wooden now. a good look at this. I'll probably find a proper map, I'm sure. You are here, yes. We're here at the bottom, that yellow circle. Supply cave over there on the left. Vista. Cave of Deers. Great. Silent Hill hillside. Train station. Diner. Is that the diner I came from? Pretty impressive, ain't it? You might not guess by looking at it, but this place used to be filled with all kinds of visitors. Moms and dads and little kids and... Yeah, it was a really nice place. I'm sorry. It... You are... Name's JP, and that, sir, is the Devil's Pit. 490 meters straight down to the blackest soul of the earth. The deepest limestone sinkhole look, look, north of the fascinating, but <sighs> sorry. Someone, something tried to kill me back there. You haven't seen anyone? I'm strange wandering around here, have you? First time visitor, huh? Listen, if there's a quick way out of here, I'd really appreciate it if you if you just tell me. Way out? What good would that do? Sorry. We uh don't get too many visitors these days. Right. Well, be seen. Uh if you if you head through the cavern, there's a train. It can take you to Hillside. Boy, I tell you, all the kids, they uh, just love that little train. How about you show me? Sorry. Some place I gotta be. <laughs> Thanks for the tip. <laughs> the Devil's Pit. Sounds like a fun place to bring the family. JP. Was that the name that was on the side? Crossed out and then replaced with Conductor? JP, Sitter, Setter, whatever the second part of the name was? Could have been a J. Oh, can use some money to look through these. Cool. Uh. Hmm. I don't think these are working right. Like, I'm pretty sure it's the emulator making that not work right. It wasn't... it wasn't, uh... compiling shaders or anything like that. I love... I love the fact that you can get money from that register, like we did. And it's not a certain amount of money, and it's just... I guess we're just gonna keep it for the rest of the game. Anytime we need small change, we can just use it. That's cool. 
Let's do it again. Maybe it'll work this time. No. Zooming in and out. No difference. Okay. Hey. Where'd you say that train is again? Told you. Just head on down into the caverns there. You'll find it. I want to read their Thanks. name. Name tag. Ah, I can't. That's a hell of a drop. We're at 3,350 feet. Pit floor below is at 1,607 feet. Found in 1945. That's where I came from. Is that a weapon? <laughs> it is. Mm, no thanks. I'm surprised how they've really held back on the amount of enemies to fight. I thought they'd start throwing them at me left and right, but they've been pretty light on it. Might be an enemy right up there, though. Or just a body. Oh. Yep, there's an enemy there. It just ate the body. 